Hello guys, it's Lucas here and what we're going to talk about today is the One Series Thermal Imaging Camera. Uh, so you can see there uh, I have this small tiny bullet camera. I also have a, like a, a turret eyeball outside. Uh, so we're going to play with them today. Uh, but I'd like to show you a small um, feature, some features of this camera. Uh, like you see the size, it's really, really tiny. Um, it's uh, first thing you can see there's a dual lens. Um, so you have the visual lens, just an ordinary, like a four megapixel camera. Um, as well as you do have the thermal imaging uh, camera that will cover the thermal imaging for you. Um, but because that camera has a fusion, um, you can fuse both pictures together and display them overlay um, of the thermal imaging. I'll show you that how to do it and how does it look like. Um, I, like I said, I have one outside my house and we have a great um, environment today. We have a rainy day today, so it would be great to show you this camera. Um, but anyway, what, what else we have on this camera? Of course, we do have the active deterrence LED lights. So in the case, if you do have the intrusion detection or line crossing um, or the temperature heat has been detected you know like it could be a fire it could be any heat source that is above a certain threshold you can set the uh, active deterrence to start flashing uh, as well you can use the speaker underneath and um, so you can see like you do you are familiar with the TO cameras TO cameras would have a speaker as well so we do have the speaker art in under uh, under the uh, bottom of the camera that you can announce the message yourself via the app on a phone or um, uh, smart PSS software or DSS software if you have. Um, as well as the monitor station, they can use their uh, software like a Sentinel, for example. Um, they can announce the message via this camera. So if the camera will pick up an intrusion or line crossing, it will notify the monitoring station and the monitoring station they can use their um, microphone to announce the message as well as there's a few built-in messages and you can add your own messages if you like uh, to that camera so in the case if you have that in your house and the front of the house if someone's gonna uh, sneak into your back garden in the middle of nowhere pitch black environment you have no light whatsoever that camera will cover and um, all the um, intrusion detection zone for you so it will work for all the active deterrents um, and it will announce the message automatically uh, together with the LED light. So what else we have there? Um, of course, we do have the SD count. You can have this all, all on board of this camera um, that will allow you to make this camera fully standalone. Um, on the fly lead, we have a 12 volts DC uh, RJ45 plug. Uh, input and output for an audio so you can get uh, like in a horn speaker uh, amplifier connected to this uh, audio output or you can have the external microphone connected as well as you do have very important um, input and output for alarm so you can use the alarm output usually um, like I said if the heat heat is detected you can trigger like a sprinkle, sprinkling system or like in some alarm panel uh, on side that will allow you to received in the, uh, the message or it could be anything really it's just a simple contact normally open go close so you can trigger anything with the heat uh, that has been detected or with one of the intrusions and or line crossing features um, <clears throat> so like you see here um, this camera is actually a, a four megapixel uh, with a bit lower resolution uh, thermal imaging but uh, there's no fear there's like a two millimeter on that camera you can go up to like a 10 millimeter distance i mean the 10, 10 millimeter uh, lenses on that uh, thermal camera and that will cover the distance up to like 150 meters detection and that would be no problem to pick it up any object really far away from the camera uh, it will be zoomed in um, onto that object it's a fixed lenses obviously but uh, the, the distance of the detection will be much farther than like a typical like an ordinary visual camera uh, so you can at least double up the distance of the detection, especially during the dark time, uh, during the night time, uh, a pitch black environment, whatever weather conditions you might have there, it will always going to pick it up. So you can determine differences between human and the vehicles. Uh, it's also pet mute, so it will uh, avoid any false alarms uh, triggered by, you know, cats, dogs, foxes, rabbits in the, in the fields. Um, 
So like uh, I said, maybe I'm just going to show you some features of the camera within the head of the camera. Like I said, I have one outside. Uh, so we're going to log it in and see what we can get of it. All right. So there it is. And there's our camera. That's the live picture. So as we see here um, on the left hand side, there is um, visual lenses. And on the right hand side, there's a thermal imaging lenses. Um, <clears throat> So what type of application you might uh, this camera could be could be uh, installed like I said it could be of like pitch black environment it could be any substation uh, looking at the um, at the wires or any machinery that is heating up um, and you like to switch off suddenly the machine if the threshold level of the temperature would be reached um, as well as you can use the intrusion detection line crossing so it all depends what type of the environment what kind of um solution I'd like to choose from so let me log it into the settings of that camera so st straight away we have um our channel settings and um, so you see the conditions so we have the visual lenses this is the typical uh, setting for this the type of the visual lenses camera but the more important here is the um, thermal imaging uh, lenses so you can see I, I already fused the image if I go with the original image it's really just like a kind of a blurry image that's how the thermal imaging is looking looking like um, but if I fuse that image with the visual lenses I'll get the contours and picture fused with my uh, original thermal image that will give me a bit more details about the picture and what is going on uh, of course I can um, correct the uh, calibrate the lenses so they would be um, they're all straight up on the li lines here on the contours of the objects on the front of the camera uh, as well as I can change the colors like so for example I can just go with a different type of the colorization and um, so you see the white hot fusion and so on there's a so many of them uh, to choose from uh, usually I like to have just uh, a fused image and for the color um, for the full colors and any high temperature colors like you see here the car just arrived here you can see straight away the heat of the car far away from the lenses here from the camera you can see there's a, a lorry that has been picked up straight away uh, so let me save those settings and we're just gonna go to um, some smart thermal imaging settings um, so in the smart thermal imaging settings like you see here this is a channel number one so we just need to choose the smart plan or um, either for the IVS for those intrusion detection line crossing features for the visual lens or you can also have the call detection so the visual lenses um, with the help of the thermal imaging will pick it up if you're on the phone for example so if there's an environment like a petrol station where you're not supposed to use a phone while you, you know filling up the uh, car uh, with the petrol the camera can detect this type of the uh, behavior and it will announce the message uh, of course with the thermal imaging cameras we also have the IVS but also we do have the smoking detection so if someone's smoking the cigarette so again it could be a petrol station any any um, place where you're not supposed to smoke um, that can pick it up that heat the smoke from the cigarette and announce the message that this is not a smoking area um, so we're just going to select the IVS for this camera and IVS like you see I do have already a tripwire so simple as as any other camera or recorder you you you, you play with um, there's a, just a plus button you need to select and now we just choose uh, either intrusion detection or tripwire so we can go ahead and select the tripwire maybe just somewhere here uh, we can also add additional um, role if you like um, down below we have plenty of different options what's going to happen if someone's going to cross that line and what direction is going to cross that line as well as you see here if the warning light will be on and um, if they're going to start flicking uh, how you know with what frequency the light will start flicking as well uh, to take a snapshot you can schedule when this rule is going to be um active as well um <clears throat> and also from the audio messages you have like an alarm sound uh, if you ever play with the tr cameras 
that's going to be a really annoying kind of sound, but that's definitely going to scare someone off or alert somebody. Uh, call um, detection. So that's for a call detection. If someone is on a call, the, the camera is going to pick it up. If someone is on a call, it would pick that up and announce the message. The same with the fire or a smoke in detection. Um, so we have one rule here. We can also add another rule somewhere else. So for example, we can get the maybe some intrusion detection just start drawing there somewhere here just to pick it up any detection if someone's going to walk it in into that zone so for this type of environment uh, for the active deterrence and perimeter detection it's brilliant because you can cover much more and you can distance wise you can go with that camera in anywhere like in the middle of nowhere uh, with no light no illumination whatsoever and that will still pick it up all the heat from the objects like a human or a vehicle um, like you see here we also have the fire warning so you can actually trigger alarm output if there's a fire been detected uh, by the thermal imaging uh, uh, lenses so it's enough just to select the just to select the lenses here and select the alarm output so again it could be an audio message it could be a warning light um, it could be anything really that is on the front of the camera that you need to be worried about um, like most recent application I, I do remember we got these cameras in was um, the, the sawmill um, so you, you just have this camera pointing at the pile of whatever um, uh, it could be the wood in the in the warehouse and that might heat up uh, or there may, might be a spark somewhere that might start a fire and it's for a prevention really if the heat is going to be detected in a certain temperature uh, the relay outputs of the camera are connected just to the fire panel uh, like i said we do have the call detection so for that we just need to have the person on the front of the camera with the phone and uh, next to the phone to, the, to their head and that will pick it up that kind of uh, behavior and it can announce the message and um, the same with the smoking detection you can of course detect if someone is smoking a cigarette um, the hot trace you can actually trace and um, the hot and cold temperatures and set the different threshold for that as well and set the different uh, outcome in different output uh, but more popular in this case will be uh, temperature settings where you can actually apply some rules and for instance your camera your thermal imaging camera is looking at some machinery or some uh, certain area or spot where you worry about the temperature if that's going to start overheating uh, of course we can just get the line or you can get a spot where you just select that and set the temperature threshold so in that case if the temperature is going to go above a certain temperature it will trigger the alarm uh, as well as you can set the temperature contrast so you, you can have multiple points and see the difference between multiple points if there's any differences if that difference is higher than uh, usual it will uh, trigger the alarm so for example we can go with the polygons so we can just set uh, some zone of interest or maybe just around the house here so there it is and we can actually set up the temperature so if the temperature is going to go above uh, for example 25 degrees it will trigger the alarm very simple we just need to save it so you see here now we have two rules we have uh, a rule for um, a measure measurement measure uh, measurement of the temperature in a certain area but also we have the intrusion detection and line crossing um, this feature is only available in the T series, T for Tango, and um, one series cameras. If you don't have the T series, you won't have the polygons. You won't be able to set up these temperature rules in that case. Then you're only going to have those smart thermal imaging um, features like you see on the list on the left hand side. All right, so um, like I like to show maybe some. Like you see, I have those rules, three rules actually applied. I have the temperature and zone. I also have 
um, the line crossing and intrusion detection all at the same time. And that would be connected to the NVR usually where you can set it up everything from the NVR GUI as well. Um, so in this case, um, if you like to get to the advanced settings, I definitely recommend to log it in to the head of the camera to set up like a fusion picture, different colors, different threshold, alarm, alarm outputs, just to make sure they all work and fine. You can all test them from the camera itself as well. So maybe uh, I'd like to show you some uh, video like uh, from the detection um, I had today. So there is, for example, uh, there is someone's walking in through the intrusion detection zone. As soon as they walk in, you can see and um, they just gonna be detected and the alarm is gonna be announced. And um, as well, if there will be any other detections, we can just jump into it and see if there's any other detections back in the past. So there is, again, someone will just walk and enter that zone straight away. It, it doesn't matter, like, like I said, if that is a pitch black environment or uh, if there is like uh, snowing or raining uh, or whatever conditions, weather condition you might have there, it's always going to be there. It's always going to pick it up. Um, that object, whatever object you like to pick it up yourself. Thank you very much. And I will see you next Wednesday. So every Wednesday we're going to do some uh, quick webinars so you can get more familiar with the equipment uh, that we have to offer. And so thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.